Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Eagles playbook. This particular playbook to me has got to be the best running playbook in the game. If you guys disagree, let me know in the comment section and for something to check out because to me it just has so many good run plays. I can think of at least you can make a bread and butter run run book out of this um, so easy. I mean, there's just so many good plays. Whether it's in the Deuce Close, they have two of the best run plays in the game. Uh, the Deuce Y Flex has, has to me one of the best run plays in the game. Um, the wing is got. I mean, just it's it may seem seem basic but the stretch is so effective out of the wing because you have those two blockers on the one side um, the run plays I'm going to show you the iPhone wing in this video and the next video are phenomenal uh, and it also has oh there's another one I mean it's got a lot of inside zones and the gun formations and stuff like that uh, but there's there's just so many good run plays to be had is, is the A slot have the toss is that one of the ones I'm thinking of? I mean, it's got the counter, but I mean, there's just so many good run formations. Like I said, by far, to me, the best run playbook in the game. Uh, and then I'm going to start off this video by showing you um, some really great run plays in this iPhone wing formation. Now, I could have did this particular setup out of a couple different playbooks, but I chose the Eagles playbook because I'm seriously considering doing a full ebook breakdown out of this. Uh, but I wanted to get you guys' feedback. In my last video, I also put out, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do one out of the Cardinals. Uh, but that's really the three big ones. The Cardinals, Eagles, and the Packers are probably the three biggest ones I'm going to try to do next. I'm going to do a defensive video first. I'm I might do a custom playbook soon. Uh, but these are the ones I'm kicking around. So let me know in the comment section what you guys want me to, want me to do, what you guys want to see. But for now, I'm going to start off with a play that I already put out earlier in the year uh, just so I can mow through it quick. It's still one of the best run plays in the game, the halfback power O. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Um, I would say in these inside runs, you want somebody that's not too fast. I, I was experimenting with this with, uh, with a speed back, and I'll use a speed back later in Barner. But uh, he was too fast and running into the blocking. So make sure you pick somebody that's not too fast. I'm going to go with Blunt. Yeah, that's why I chose the Eagles, man. I'm, I'm pumped up for the game tomorrow night. I'm recording this on Sunday because the Eagles don't play. So all I want to do is flip this play by hitting the right stick to the left. And I can stick in a nice big hole there. I just got to have my blocking set up a little bit, as you can see it did there. I didn't accelerate too quick because this guy's kind of slow, but... Still a really good play. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to run a couple times just like this. And then I'm going to show you some more adjustments. Oh, but that was a tackle. What was that? Now, if you're running this play with a speed back, uh, you're going to pretty much have to take it outside, which this is more effective in that gap in between the defensive end and the defensive tackle. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. But you can see here, this guard who I actually didn't use very well or didn't get his block off very well, one of the two, but that guard is my is my lead blocker there. That, that, that guy's there to seal the edge. There, that's what I want. I want to get right up in that hole. Uh, man, that stiff arm didn't get it done. But uh, still a big run, real easy. If it's a speed back, um, you're going to want to go to the edge. And that's not really how the blocking sets up, as you can see. I mean, the blocking sets up right in the front. And if you're too quick to that hole, you're going to run right up your blocking's, blocker's ass, and it's going to be a problem. But you're really just reading the outside shoulder of the left tackle. Like here, I can't get that edge. You know what I mean? I can tell right now, Burton's going to kick out. I actually did get the edge. I, I, it was a, definitely a slight adjustment. Um, but you can see here, I get a really nice play. But in those scenarios, a speed back. Like here, he's in tight, so that uh, I could probably um, get that edge again if I want it. He gets out. He gets kicked out, though. That's typically what I'm going to see. And you can just see how this play is just so uh, so dynamic and easy. So, uh, but like I said, if you have a speed back like this here, this is probably an edge look uh, where that guy is going to, you know, once again, the hole's up the middle. I mean, that's typically where it's going to be. This is kind of like a counter play, just there's no delay. Like you're running this in the same direction you would a counter. But typically in a counter, your, your, your running back steps to the right, loses all the acceleration before he steps to the left. This here is that same type of counter play where you get a good play, but you don't actually uh, lose your acceleration. That's what makes this play so successful. It's kind of glitchy in that way. Now, another thing that I didn't really mention is um, since I'm going to show you a couple plays in the future here where you motion out this tight end to get a blocking advantage, uh, you might as well do that every once in a while here. <coughs> it's not necessarily going to... Um, it's not necessarily going to do much as far as blocking if somebody's coming after you from behind. Uh, in those scenarios, you might want to leave them in. Uh, but for the most part, motion them out um, just to kind of confuse your opponent so that when you run some of my future plays, um, it'll, it'll catch your opponent off guard. So we'll go ahead and move on. Since I was talking about that, we might as well show that. Uh, one of those plays. I mean, you really got your choice here. Uh, to me, the best one is the halfback toss. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Now I want a speed back, by the way. So I'm going to hit R1. I'm going to put uh, Kenyon Barner in. There's not going to be a lot of inside run lanes opportunities. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. And we'll keep going ramp 3 4. So this here, like I said, I want to motion this guy out. Now, what makes this play better than the power G is you have two pulling guards. Uh, where the power G, which I'll probably, maybe I'll show that in uh, part two or something, but uh, there you only have one pulling guard. So this one here, you can run just like this, 
but uh, you're not going to get, you know, the edge is just not there the same way. I mean, I got, you know, that's a good run. You know what I'm saying? I got, what, like five, six? In zone scenarios, motioning out Selleck will make the uh, the cornerback back off quite a bit sometimes, which is pretty good. Um, it's kind of how you want it. Uh, there we got a nice alley. 88 didn't get the job done, though, bro. 88, bro. Yeah, I mean, you know, this here, if, if the blocking sets up, like I'm hoping it will. I might have to go back to the Legarrette Blunt. They're definitely blocking better uh, for Le for Legarrett. Uh, but, you know, you just get a nice one-on-one -on -one outside, which is, is the way to go. Yeah, there's a lot of really good run plays um, in this formation where you can motion out the tightening and the blocking man. The halfback power G was a play I put out last year that was incredibly dominant. Uh, the halfback toss is a lot like the power G, but you have uh, multiple pulling guards and uh, actually your guard and your tackle, so it gives you even more of an advantage. Uh, but the play that I like the most is the uh, the halfback stretch. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that. I'm going to go with speed on the outside because I think that's the best way to go. So we'll pick that. Ram 3-4. Yeah, this play right here, I mean, it's real easy. You're just going to basically motion out the, uh, the, the tight end, who luckily is one of my blocking tight ends. And I just feel like the blocking holds up a lot better uh, because there's not as much... Um, there's not as much uh, pulling linemen to create gaps for good defenders to shoot through fast defenders. Yeah, the stretch play just holds the blocking better. I mean, you don't have, like that guy's coming down right in the gap and it's gonna totally mess this up. But um, <laughs> like here, you definitely would wanna, I don't know, maybe flip it or something um, with that guy kind of getting right in that gap. You know he's coming. So I'll go ahead and flip it to the other side. <laughs> Take the easy way out. Um, but yeah, this is a, a better blocking setup they're stacking heavy like they were on that play. What are you going to do? So that was actually a much better scenario. They're stacking heavy on the weak side this time. So we're going to go in motion over. A lot of times the cornerback will drop off, which is really good. 88, you got to get that, bro. You got to get that, bro. Oh, that was too early. It was too early, man. Good play. Uh, but yeah, a lot of times you motion out this tight end. Uh, your, your zone corner will drop off. Uh, here he did not. So it's probably, who knows, maybe it's a man. Uh, but basically, well, he drove him like crazy out of that play. Oh, man. There, that was setting up for so much better. Um, but yeah, that was a really great drive block by Selleck on the corner. He just took his ass out of the play. So that's the point. I mean, that's, that's the point of this play. You want a tight end out there just mowing corners, and I'm just like not running really good right now, and it still worked out somehow. That was crazy. Good play by Barner, baby. I tell you, man, get Barner. If you're in, if you're in uh, CFM, go get him. So, uh, you know, they're really stacking heavy to that side. So I'll flip it to the, to the other side every once in a while. Really good block in there. That was a receiver uh, shutting Norman back right there. Nice. I don't really think that he's got it like that. But remember, you can always flip the play. Um, just go to the other side um, if somebody's really, really stacking heavy. And the, uh, the back door is typically open, as you can see there. I want to show some of my favorite pass plays out of this. This one here is so money, the PA boot flow. Uh, just make sure that you have a, a mobile uh, tight end slash fullback slash you can even put a running back out there. If you've got a receiving back, you can cheat, put him in there. Um, I'll do that. I got, uh, I don't even know who's healthy, man. I think small was it. We'll see if he's actually out there. Otherwise, otherwise, you know, honestly, I'll just keep Trey Burton. Trey Burton's fast. He's, he's nice. I don't want to take him out and get screwed once I start the play. But we'll go ahead with the PA boot flow. Love this play. And we'll keep going around three, four. Yeah, this play right here, you know, it just, you can run it just like this. I typically like to motion the fullback just a little bit, just to get him out a little head start to where he's going, because he's going to be a really reliable option uh, in the flat, as you can see there in the first play. I mean, nobody even covered him, and I don't know why, but it happens that way a lot. Yeah, and the reason that is is because, you know, most of the coverage is going to get pulled back in a zone scenario against Jeffrey. You would almost have to man uh, the fullback. Here we got uh, the X route. The X routes are great. Um, the X round, the fullback really are playing off each other high and low. And then if it's a cover three, you know, the, the, the triangle route's really good. Even if it's not a cover three, like that's not a cover three. <laughs> He's still a good play. So no real adjustments needed. Like I said, Burton is a good one, uh, motioning him out. But you could also motion in Jeffrey. If it's a cover three, motioning in Jeffrey's pretty good. Uh, I think him on a streak or a in route smart routed is a little bit better. Um, so he can be turning towards the ball when you throw it to him, uh, but that's me But he's fine the way he is too. I mean that comeback route outside is not too bad um, As you can see there, uh, I didn't I threw it a little bit quick because of the pressure, but it's all good but Yeah, really good play. I mean, there's just small adjustments to make it better But uh, it has everything you need uh, Out of it as is I mean that's that X route is definitely one of the better ones It's hard for uh, for users to stick with a route so long or the computer for that matter uh, but that's really, it's him and Burton are like the big ones. And then if you pre-diagnose cover three, then the circle route um, is a really good one as well. 
And I actually, I waited too long. I could have threw that when he was making that break instead of instead of late like that. Yeah, I'm making some late some late decisions, but they're still working out. So let's go ahead and let's keep rocking this once or twice more. And we're gonna go with that X that square route again. I'm pass leading away too. I want to catch and run it, so I'm pass leading up. Anytime you want to get up the field, or like you know, if you're splitting a cover too, like if I see cover, if I see Selleck, who's a very slow tight end by the way, if I had a faster tight end, but I'm trying to split that cover too, so I'm pass leading up for a nice catch and run. I think one of those previous plays was a cover four, and he did a really good job. Um, but you can see here, I mean, he's just that that deep middle route. You pretty much have to use her that. But yeah, there's a lot of, of, of routes here that like you'd have to pretty much man burden, cross man urge, maybe you know, user Selleck um, to really slow this play. Uh, but you can't. I mean, the two tight ends are just perfect routes, and I love throwing play action out of out of out of plays, out of formations like this. Really catches your opponent off guard. They don't expect so much passing out of these type of formations, and that was just a horrible throw, Carson. What are you doing, bro? Um, and then I also, you know, like I said, that comeback route out there on an island is pretty good. Wow, he's just pass lead that for the score. I'll call it a score. He stepped out. It's whatever though. We're gonna move on to the next play. So that's it for part one. I don't know if there's going to be a part two, but if you guys want to see part two, hit the like button and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. If you more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.